Hi, and welcome back to Worm Watts, where we harness the God-given power of compost worms to transform organic waste into living fertilizer. Now, today we're going to be looking at this bag, and it may not seem that interesting, but it's a bag full of leaves. It's a jute bag, as you'll notice, and it's full of leaves, and I stored them in here so that they would break down over the course of the year so that I could use them as a bedding for my compost worms. And so today I'd really like to take you along with me as we dig into this bag and see how the decomposition is going of these leaves. They've been outside, so it's been subject to all of the elements, the rain, the sun, and so it's gotten wet, it's dried out, gotten wet, dried out. And I just want to see how that breakdown is going for these leaves to see if they would be an ideal uh, substrate for a bedding for some of the worms. And from what I can see so far, top layers are looking basically pretty leafy, what you would expect. But I'm guessing that toward the bottom of the bag, there's gonna be a finer kind of leaf mold type material. Now, obviously having the leaves outside also makes them home to a number of different critters. So this also gives me the opportunity to just kind of see what, what's living in here and see whether I'd be okay with that, adding that into my, my vermicomposting setup. So just digging through here. Again, not really seeing anything super telltale right now. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a box and just kind of pour out some of these leaves so that I can see what's toward the bottom. All right, and here's the box that we got. And as I mentioned, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, overturn this into the box. I'm expecting that toward the bottom, the consistency might change a little bit, just so that we can get an idea of how the breakdown is going with these leaves. They've been out in the elements, I would say for about uh, six, six or so months, so. And toward the bottom, I'm noticing that it's a little bit more matted. Whereas these, you can tell that they're, you can see that the matted leaf, a bunch of leaves right here. So toward the bottom, looks like there's a little bit more um, compaction. We've actually got a, not sure if that is a, looks like a black soldier fly larva casing right there. Oh wow. The bottom of this bag is completely torn. So it just broke right open. Um, so the elements, the exposure to the elements just kind of helped the bag to break down. And that's what we're looking for right there. So we can see that it's starting to really decompose toward the bottom. It's nice, dark, and rich. And you can see all of those roly polies crawling on the bag there, evidence to the decomposition that's going on. So that is a nice sign. And the part from where I got underneath where I store these bags, there are a lot of worms and other things like that. So this does seem to be, uh, ooh. so that overflowed. I will acknowledge this has not broken down at the same speed I expected, but at the same time, uh, if you want it to break down faster, it would probably be ideal to do this in a, in a plastic bag so that you retain more moisture. 
that's going to really promote the the metabolism of the of the, of the fungi <clears throat> which will help to break this down a lot faster so that's where we're sitting at these leaves are not really in the best of shape to be to be utilized necessarily uh, well I take that back these could definitely be used as a bedding but they would definitely need to be a lot more moist they're not they have not broken down consistently to leaf mold they're still several several uh, most of the bag is is not decomposed so uh, they're small pieces but they are not decomposed yet so this would be a fine dry bedding but it would need to be wetted down first and the bag itself has also gone through some some decomposition which is neat to see so i might use this bag as a worm blanket in one of the bins or something like that anyway thank you for joining me as we just explore different materials, different beddings, different substrates, and, you know, just get to learn a little bit more about this. Now, obviously, having the leaves in these bags has, uh, has not necessarily contributed to them breaking down faster. So next time I'll, con I'll consider a way to speed that process up. All right. Well, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Bye.